An Ohio rapper charged with murder in DeKalb County turns himself in to police today. Yeah, say you get money, then show that. Yeah, this is the Q money, not Kodak. Yeah, that's 23-year-old Kamar Williams, better known as Q Money. He's being charged with felony murder, accused of shooting a fellow musician, Calvin Chappelle, at a home in Decatur on Monday. A warrant was issued for Williams' arrest that same day. You know, this Welcome is... Welcome back to Who Want a Life Sentence. Thank you guys for tapping in. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. I read them all. Hey, we ain't gonna uh, uh, pussyfoot around with it. We gonna jump right into it. Today we have Kamar Williams, also known as Q Money. The reason why Q Money made the docket today, and I want to apologize, guys. I know it's been a while, man. We we backed up. We got a lot of stuff on the docket. I am gonna get it done. First of all, let me say, uh, court is now in session. Yeah. Uh, you come in, say what you want, but we're going to be judging that boy ass today. And we'll judge you too. You mess around and come across this screen with that uh, with that foolishness. So say what you want, but it is what it is. Do something stupid, yeah, you're going to be judged. Um, Now, Qmar made the, the docket today because I don't know much about the case, about the whole situation, but from what I've gathered, him and his friend or him and a guy that he was working with, they seemed to be friends. They were both from Cleveland, Ohio, and down in Atlanta uh, for work. And for for all intended purposes or, you know, for what really matters, excuse me, Q Mar was doing really was doing really good. He had, I would say he had made it. Uh, he had been signed by I think it's a game who they 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 signed some pretty good I mean they 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 do their thing. They was they was with Rich Homie Quan, they had Lucci. So they can that's a a, a pretty decent group in Atlanta. Uh, I think it's a game. And had songs with Young Dolph. Um for all like I said, for all inten intensive purposes, you can say that he had made his stamp in the rap game and the rap business. He got the look. He got the swag. I know a lot of people say, um, you know, he got, he, well, I ain't going to say a lot of people say, but the way that he danced and the way that he moved, they will say it's some, it's some zest about that. And I, I, I read it. And what I would say is I could see how you would say that, or I could see how you could feel that way because of the movements, like the, the smooth movements or the, you would almost want to say the sultry movements with the way that he danced. But, um, it's not like that. It's almost like, uh, it's, it's almost like the, the pimp type thing where a pimp is, even though they pimps, they are like, they have a, a, a soft touch about them. Like they, they get their nails done and, they hair done and they wear uh scarves like women would. You know, they men, but it's the soft touch. So I could I could because it's a lot of that go on in Atlanta. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot go on in Atlanta. But I'm just saying, like, that kind of a swag where it's like, you know, I'm clean, I can pop my collar type, you know, wipe me down, get off me, back up off me. Uh it's it's it's, it's more like that. So I wouldn't even give them zesty, man. When you when you have when you feeling yourself and you living in your purpose and you doing what you're supposed to do, then it'll come off as, you know, kind of like cocky or, you know, I, I know what I'm doing. Get back, you know, watch me do this. Watch me do this. And uh, that's that's really like an Atlanta swag for him to be a guy from Cleveland, Ohio. So it's no surprise that he made it. Um, I want to say, man, it's such a shame. It's such a shame because... You know, I was I was going to uh, title this one Life Without Parole, but I don't think that's his case. I don't think he got life without parole. Most of the parole. time, when you have life without parole, it says it, it says it boldly. And I haven't seen that attached to his jacket yet. Um, and that's good news. And, and it's bad when that's good news, which means, like, the good news is he could do, like, somewhere around 30 years and... 
hopefully come home. And like I said, when that's your good news that you can do 30 years and, and hopefully come home, then you have you have what we call royally effed up. Roy Thank you, my friend. One thing I want you to guys to take note of, there are four men in this video. We got Young Dolph, R.I.P. to the great, Young, R.I.P. to the great, man, Young Dolph, rest in peace. Young Dolph is dead. We got YFN Lucci, he's one of Atlanta's favorites. Uh, Lucci is in prison as we currently speak. He'll be coming home soon, but as we know, um, right now, prison is in a, a very, very bad state. You can lose your life, and plus, He's already had attempts on him. He's been assaulted a couple of times. If I'm not mistaken, he's been stabbed a couple of times. So we got Lucci in prison. We got Q. Q with a life sentence. <clears throat> it could have just as easily been Lucci with a life sentence because someone did die on, uh, on his case when they were doing what they were doing. But by the grace of God, and you know, we got money. So he was able to do his thing, and he'll be home soon. But you got Q, who wasn't as fortunate as that. And Q got a life sentence, which means, like I said, he'll be in there till 25, 26, 27, 28 years, 34, 35 years. Who knows? But it's possible for him to possibly come home one day if he survived. And then we have... Uh, Pee Wee Longway. Pee Wee is, again, one of Atlanta's, uh, you know, one of Atlanta guys, and he's doing good for, you know, for for as much as I've heard anyway. Pee Wee don't get in no trouble. Pee Wee's about his hustle. Pee Wee stay out the way, man. Pee Wee is the, the true definition of a hustler, a low-key hustler. And, you know, he just do his thing. So... Those are, are terrible odds, if you ask me. You know what I mean? Uh, four of our young men, three of them gone. They all had, you know, star power, potential. They all were doing very great things. Probably all had millions. Um, and two of them, are pro pro we probably won't get back. So, I just want to take note of that, man. This is a... It seems like this, this rap game is becoming a dangerous sport. Some people will argue and say that it's not, but you got rappers going after rappers. You know, um, uh, uh, Young Thug is on trial right now. You know, then we got Lucci, but we got rappers that go after rappers. We got, you know, fans that go after rappers. We got feds that go after rappers. You know, uh, I mean, my guys, if, if it's... If it was any 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 time to be a, there is no worse time to be a real nigga in the streets right now. You'll have to watch your friends. Have y'all seen YNW Melly? Then look, Q, we talking about right now. This is these guys was supposed to be friends. They in the same house together and they gunning each other down. So you gotta watch out for your friends. You gotta watch out for the ops. You gotta watch out for the police. You gotta watch out for the feds. Then you gotta watch out for the fans. Then you gotta watch out for uh, just everybody, uh, just the just the old brands and the greedy people. To be honest, it seems like a lot of work, man, just to be a real nigga, man, to be to be to be. And then, not to mention, you can't speak about none of this stuff. It's a lot of pressure, man. It's a lot of pressure. I pray for you guys. I really do, man. I pray for you guys. I hope you you guys make it out. Um, I'm down to do mentoring and teaching if you guys want to reach You boys so gangster. I see you'll happily take 20 years, 25 years. Maybe you guys think we live forever. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, man. But y'all be like, you know, if you had to do your time, you'll go sit down and do your time. You're talking about 25, 30 years. Y'all mad at gangster for telling on dead people after 25 years? Man, listen, <clears throat> see, y'all ain't know that depression. Y'all ain't know that pain of sitting off in that cell. So everybody talking about snitching this and snitching that and who was snitching, 
YSL Woody and this and that. No, man. Y'all do y'all research. Do your homework. You know what I mean? But anyway, we ain't going to get too deep off in this. Um, I think I'm going to go live tonight. I will be looking to see you guys there. Uh, all my people, DJ, Can't Get Right, Michelle, um, Gunja, Nicole, um, what my boy name say, I don't never, I don't, I don't never mention that. Look, all, all my moderators, all my subscribers, all my supporters, I will see you guys tonight. We just gonna be cutting up, man. We gonna be getting out there. I uh, appreciate it, guys. Go hit the like button, and, um, I got somebody else up for y'all next. I'll see y'all later. Life sentence, man. We talking about, what, 30 years?